Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woki, and I'm back with another Jagalia Lost video. Today's video is going to be all about this month in Jagalia Lost, where I'm going to kind of go over it and talk about it, talk about the things inside of it, kind of give my thoughts and opinions about it, but in general, just mostly reading it. So I hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like, comment on the video, tell me what you like from this month in Jagalia, or what you're looking for for this month, and subscribe to me if you want some more video stuff. Alright, let's go in. First, is just talking about the Rage of Kronos. Yeah, it's an event. It's currently going on. The current banner is, of course, Galagni and Vania. <clears throat> and then next after is Grimir and Dragon Rose Queen. So that's gonna be, and it's gonna be a prize showcase as well. So, Oof. sounds pretty good. And we should hopefully get info about them tomorrow. All right, all right. Sounds good. Sounds good. And then we have. Next, in May, Moist Trials, Chisonius Trials, and Marsh Trials will be added to the Trials of the Mighty. And added, yeah, and added to try, where you can earn materials for unlocking them. And basically, this is saying this is Mana Spirals for Nurse Eileen, Gala Alex, and Yukata Cassandra. Um, very interesting choices, not choices I would have picked. Well, no, actually, that's a lie, because I would totally 100% pick Nurse Eileen. I, if you watched my healer video, I... Use Nurse Eileen. I was gonna, I'm going to get Jing with the free ticket, but maybe I don't need it if the Nurse Eileen spiral is extremely good. But unfortunately, by the time <clears throat> this spiral is out, I won't know. So I'm going to pick up Jing just in case. And because this is also, it looks like all spirals are now going to be handed through Trials of the Mighty now. So it means they're free, but now it takes way longer to get them. I think it ends up working fine for me personally as someone who ended up never mana spiraling any unit because I was never sure when they were going to release a unit. So, I don't know. I like it. I kind of like the, the system. It is kind of annoying how long it takes. I will say that much. Um, but I do like that they've kind of off-balanced it a bit by also including stuff like, hey, you also get every three weeks, you get a free multi, so make sure to do these damn trials. And I'm like, okay. Fair enough, that's the most incentive they've ever given me to play a mode ever, is a free multi basically every three weeks. I also would not have picked Gala Alex for the Gala next Gala Spiral, I would have picked Cerise if I was going to be picking a fire unit, and to be fair, Yukata Cassandra, we'll see what she does. Maybe she got super badly affected by Nihility, and maybe she'll be maybe an amp? I'm going to assume the only, except for Nurse Eileen, who actually generally needs a lot of changes. No, actually she doesn't, apparently, because apparently she's one of the better healers, so I'll be interested to see what they give to her. But I assume all these are just strength half buffs, buffs to make them better for Nihility. But we'll see. We'll wait and see. We'll I'll talk more about them when we actually know the information. Next, <clears throat> a defensive event featuring the adventurer Saiga. Saga? Saga? whom you may remember from his brief introduction in the most recent episode of the Dragalia Digest. It will start on 509. He'll be joined by the existing adventurer in a new heavily armored outfit. I'm going to guess this is maybe going to be Tobias. But hey, we'll see. Um, learn more about him pretty soon. I mean, if it was one of the units they showed, they would have said it, right? <laughs> That's kind of the thing of where I was like, well... If it is the one of the units you showed during that same digest, why don't you just tell us what it is? But anyway, the Agents of the Goddess facility is coming back on 516. Yay, congrats. The Fire Emblem Lost Heroes and Fire Emblem Kindred Spirit events will be added to the compendium on 516 as well. Uh, and these events may only be played solo. Sure, makes sense. Does that mean that around this time we're going to get their... Um... Their banner return? It doesn't say anything. I also kind of wonder, like, how are they going to handle spirals for the new? Obviously not every... Chrom definitely needs one of the most out of all the old ones. Tiki's fine, Peony's fine, and Sheena actually could use one. But I wonder how they would handle spirals for them. Now that they're kind of doing Trials of the Mighty. Hmm. Guess we'll have to wait and see on that one. I mean, there is a boss you fight specifically for him, but maybe you just fight him. Fight that big-ass Marth boss, maybe? The Trials of the Mighty Marth? Hmm. Alright, we'll see. Part 2 of Chapter 19 in the main campaign will be added late May. Will be added late May, sorry about that. Legend difficulty will be added to Aya and Oho's Wrath. The twins, late May. These bastard women. 
And future updates. I really don't like this fight. And the suggested teams feature was added to the most recent major update, although it may only be used to see the top performing teams and solo quest. Uh, at the moment, we plan to expand its functionality to co-op quests in the future. In the next update, we plan to reduce the number of daily bonuses for Dragon Trials and Imperial Onslaught to so one, but increase the amount you would get from them. We recently reduced the stamina cost of many quests, and we hope that the, these changes will make it easier for players to tackle the ever-growing amount of content in a timely manner. We will add a feature of notes, uh, notes, notes called medals. These medals will be awarded to individual adventurers each time they clear quests like Advanced Dragon Trials, the Aguido Uprising, and Rise of the Sinister Dominion. Although these medals will not be provided any stat bonuses, we hope the players will enjoy seeing them. Uh, another tangible measure of their roster's development. Perhaps you'd like to challenge yourself to earn a certain amount of medals within a specific adventure, even with. Even with all your adventurers, the choice is yours. This is actually something they have in Uma Masumi, which I really like, is the ability to see who wins in what race and everything, because it's all trophies and stuff. So, glad for them to bring this over. This is actually a pretty cool feature. It is going to show how easy it is to probably cheese with a lot of units, but maybe at this point it's like, hey, let's embrace it. In the next update, we plan to add the previously announced feature that allows you to automatically unlock up to a specific mana node and even all five of an adventurer's mana circles at once and view the upgrade all your facilities from a single screen. That's coming next uh, update. Cool. In conclusion, have three Sunlight Ore and two Champion Testaments. Thank you. Okay. Pretty chill uh, this month, I feel. I feel like the, <laughs> you know, with the collab stuff going on. I'm wondering if this means that the, the Fire Emblem Hero dudes are going to be coming around this time. Instead of having a rerun of, what is it, Nedry and... Yeah, I wonder how they're going to handle this. I think that's going to probably what's going to happen is they're going to have a banner featuring Gunman right here and another new character. And then next week with the release of this event and this being added to the compendium, Probably one banner featuring part one Fire Emblem Heroes dudes. Uh, and part two of the Fire Emblem Heroes dudes like a week later or something. Very interesting. It would be, it would be very tough for a lot of people because again, they're limited and they're crazy limited and a lot of them are pretty good. I mean, Alphonse will be free and so will be Sheena. Um, but uh, Veronica is very good, very strong shadow unit. Marth, I don't think he's used as often, or maybe I don't use Marth as often, but he's still really solid. You can use him in a lot of cheese comps from what I can remember. Um, be, me, I forget the name of the water girl because I don't play Fire Emblem Heroes, but she's still extremely solid and extremely good. Honestly, all of them, the only one that doesn't hold up is Krom. And even then, he's built around doing big boy damage, so if you're someone who likes to see big boy damage, then your man is Krom. I re it is a real shame that Krom seems to have gotten the shortest end of the sick here. Because again, Alphonse and Sheena, they're free to play, so... You can't judge them too harshly. Sure, there are other free to play units that are extremely good, but... You know, not the same. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I hope you're looking forward to whatever this coming month has in store for Dragalia. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.